All right, guys, today's video is going to be good. It's going to be how to go from a skinny weenie. That's a little harsh. How to go from a skinny person to a bear. Now, I got some plans tonight, but before I go and do that, I'm going to go out and about, get something to eat, and I thought I'd take you guys with me. So, that's what I'm going to do to make this video a little more interesting. I'm going to explain everything, my methodology, what I've done. Um, but, add a little spice to it. Jeez, I need a We've had a pretty productive day so far. We've done most of our classes, and now we're just taking a break. we got to come down the stairwell to get my motorcycle. Springtime, it's windy, it's cold, so nice. There's a woodpecker going to town some, somewhere over my shoulder. All right guys, I'll just jump into it. So the first thing you gotta understand is that most teenage boys, most of us, we have really fast metabolisms, meaning that it's hard for us to gain weight. What you call this is you call this a hard gainer. Like I said, hard to gain weight. Now guys, for us hard gainers, it's actually a pretty simple solution. It's as easy as being in a caloric surplus. And how do we do that? What is a caloric surplus? It's simply eating more than your metabolism can handle, thus leading to gaining weight. Now guys, my stature, my height, is about 5'11". So, ooh, somebody who's 6'5", a huge dude, would have to eat loads more than I would to gain weight. Jeez, I'm guessing. Now, like I said, guys, it's so important that we're accurate about this, so that's why I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to an online calculator where you can go and you can put in your body weight and your height, and it's going to tell you approximately how many calories you need to take in in a day to either, one, lose weight, two, maintain weight, or three, gain weight, and we're looking to gain weight, so go do that after this video. The thumbnail of this video, I'm sure you saw, it's like, it's pretty drastic, right? Um, I'm actually pretty bulked up right now. I'm about to cut because I am looking kind of heavy um, But that's chances are that's why you clicked on this video and how I went from looking like this To looking how I do now. I'll show you some pictures It might not be everyone's first choice That's what I'm gonna say, but at the end of this video. I think it will be basically I ran a dirty bulk now I know what you're thinking because it was the same thing I was thinking when I first heard that term. The dirty bulk has a bad rep in the community, okay? Now simply putting this, there's two forms of gaining weight, right? There's gaining bad weight and gaining good weight. What we want to do while you guys are here is because you want to put on the pounds, you want to put on muscle. But just like you guys, prior to starting this journey of mine, I did my research. Now guys, this is a really key point, this is very important. So when we're in the gym, right, when we're lifting weights, we're making our muscles stronger, right? Wrong. When we're in the gym, what we're doing is we're actually destroying our muscles, we're making them weaker. And then later, when you guys take your protein supplements, whatever, when you take in protein, your body breaks down that protein, uses the, the amino acids from that, and fills the, mic the tiny micro tears that are created when you work out. And it fills those tears and makes your muscles bigger and stronger. Now why I wanted you guys to understand that is because I want you to see how important protein really is and the role that it plays. Bodybuilding standards is whatever your body weight is, you match that in grams. Carbohydrates, this is where a lot of people go wrong too. Carbs, they're really important. Some people even say they're more important than protein. I'd say for me, I try to get in around 375 grams of carbohydrates every day, but I don't even track my carbs because what I'm eating on a dirty bulk, I know is filled with carbs, okay? Uh, it's filled with fat too, and that's that's what I'll get into. Fat is okay, guys. I mean, fat comes with it. When you're bulking up, you're gonna gain fat, unless you're running an extremely lean bulk. Now, guys, I'm 19 years old, and when I started bulking up, I was 18. I was a freaking shrimp, dude, and you saw the pictures. If you're a skinny guy and you're looking to gain weight, please run the dirty bulk, man. If you're looking to fill out a shirt for once, if you're looking to have some muscle on your skin and bones, dude, run the dirty bulk. The dirty bulk, it's so easy to hit that caloric surplus every day. This is what I'm drinking right now. I just drank three cups of chocolate milk. It's super easy to get down, and it's about 220 calories per cup, which would be 660, okay? And protein, about nine grams per cup. So, I mean, I'm getting protein in a heck of carbs, man. Chocolate milk is filled with freaking hair, dude. <laughs> My hair looks crazy right now. 
we're in our teenage years guys we can get away with not eating the healthiest and that's not to say that on a dirty bulk you can't eat healthy okay that's a big time misconception I mean people think you're just eating garbage okay there's a lot of things I don't eat I don't eat candy I don't eat it's just a lot of things I don't eat man and I'm on a dirty bulk now the reason I chose the dirty bulk is because it's extremely easy to reach that caloric surplus and stay inside the guidelines of getting your macros in and your calories in okay because the macros are protein and carbohydrates those are what you really need to focus and it's easy to get carbs in, like I said, when you're running the dirty bulk. Now guys, that's a whole nother video as to what you should eat when running the dirty bulk. I could do a whole nother video on that and I probably will. But I'm here for the purpose of convincing you to do this dirty bulk. Because skinny guys don't gain weight by eating chicken and salads, man. If I ever see you with a chicken wrap in your hand at a restaurant, I will slap that mother... All right, let's carry on. So about the first month that I was lifting, I was lifting for a month every day, really hard too, guys. And I didn't notice a single change in my body. And I was ticked off. I was really pissed off because I had worked really hard. Um, and what it was, guys, is I was actually cutting. I was trying to bulk, but I was cutting because of my methodology and how I was doing it. Okay, if you're killing it in the gym, okay, you're, you're cranking it out in the gym, dude. But your diet is off. You're not doing anything. So first things first, guys, go to a GNC, a supplement store. Get yourself a mass gainer. Mass gainers are filled with carbs, filled with calories. I was going to say calories, but I said carbs. Uh, filled with protein, everything you need to bulk up. Mass gainer, man. The next thing is the food, man. I mean, get a job if you don't have a job or if you can mooch off your parents. Um, get milk, chocolate milk. Foods that are fat and the calories and the carbs and the protein just look at the nutrition facts man i i looked it up at first i was like what food should i eat to gain weight and they're like avocado avocados are actually good you shouldn't mock that they're like nuts steak steak is good too but they're, they're telling you all these foods that are like literally you have to eat so much to gain that kind of weight lastly guys how you should be working out this is gonna be a whole nother video trust me it's like what workouts are good you know all that kind of stuff i'd say stick stick to core lifts which are like bench press squatting deadlifts um but deadlifts man if you don't know how to deadlift don't do that crap um all these core lifts they're gonna release the most testosterone build you the biggest frame this is gonna be another video what i'm gonna say right now is crossfit biggest little freaking bs i've ever heard that just destroys your body calisthenics i'm actually a fan of calisthenics but what you guys need to be doing if you want to build this big frame and put on some pounds is sheer weightlifting um like i said my first month of weightlifting i didn't see any results okay and a lot of it yes was from diet but what i was doing guys is i was doing high sets and high reps Okay, and when you get in, in school, okay, say for example, they'll tell you to do like three to five sets of 15 reps. That's crazy, man. Like, for some people that works and for some terrain and what you're trying to do, yes, that would be ideal. But if what we're trying to do for gaining mass and putting on muscle and getting stronger and building that hypertrophy, we need to be doing four to five sets of probably six to eight reps if you can do more than eight reps you're lifting some light weights on and if you can't do a five is the lowest i'd go man if you can't squeeze out five reps you're lifting freaking too heavy and now guys something else that i was doing in the gym is my rest periods it was killing my gains because let's take this guys a two to three minute rest break i'd say is what you should be doing okay in between these sets because if you're going anything less than a minute man you're getting into cardio cardiovascular exercise we just went from muscular exercise to cardiovascular exercise and when you do that your a good heart rate is great but we're not trying to be shedding calories and working up a sweat when we're trying to lift weight and build hypertrophy now guys i know that's not much this is kind of the end of the video um but what i want to say is good luck to you guys um i started lifting no kidding no more than seven to eight months ago and I've put on 35 pounds of muscle. A little bit of fat, a little bit of fat comes with it, like I said. I don't want to overload you guys. I'll do more videos, trust me. Feel free to check out my other videos, guys. I post a lot. I posted a lot of other stuff like vlogs and transformations. You guys can go see uh, from when I was a shrimp um, to now that I'm still a shrimp. If you're finding my channel for the first time, then you probably don't know I'm on Instagram. I'm on Instagram, you guys can go follow me. If you got questions, feel free to DM me on there. Um, I used to be a big flipper, that's kind of what I was, and then 
I transitioned to weightlifting and now I'm kind of into making videos about that. So go hit me up with a follow on my Instagram. If you guys like the video, if you think it will help you, uh, go ahead and drop me a like. I know it will help you if you guys stick to what I said and follow what I said. Um, I've been there, I've been a shrimp. Um, and it's okay to be a shrimp, man. Everybody starts somewhere. And I will give you everything, baby. I can't feel this energy. Take